the most common problem we often face with dracaena or any variety of dracaena is brown, yellow, dry crispy leaves or leaf tips. And in this video, I'm going to highlight all these disorders and going to share how you can take proper care of any variety of dracaena. Now this snake plant, which was once known as Sansevieria, is now also a genus of Dracaena. But in this video, I'm not going to talk about this plant. I'm only going to talk about the original Dracaena or dragon plants. Hello plant lovers, I'm Nisha Suba from Bangladesh and welcome to Plantology. All these yellow, brown or dry crispy leaves or leaf tips are related to watering. Though there are some other reasons can be responsible for chlorosis and necrosis, but most of the time, Dracaenus shows browning or yellowing leaves or leaf tips due to uneven watering. This plant is susceptible to overwatering or too much moisture around the root zone, as well as it is quite sensitive to the mineral contamination. The roots of the Dracaenus are quite thick. That means it can store water for a longer period. So too much moisture around the rhizosphere derives root rot where bacteria and fungus takes place and as a symptom, the plants show necrosis or browning of the leaf tips. Now if you touch that brown part, it will feel soft because the excess water that has been sucked up by the roots accumulates at the end of the leaf. On the other hand, an underwater dracaena develop such brown tips but this time the brown tips will be crispy and dry in texture however try to maintain an even watering schedule now the frequency of the watering will vary with your environment pot type plant age and some other criteria as well but most of the varieties of dracaena do not require lots of water so when the upper two to three inches of the soil feels dry water the plant thoroughly I generally take the soil moisture twice a week by inserting a stick. I insert a stick around 4 inches deep into the soil and then pull it out. If it comes without sticking any soil, it means the soil is dry from inside and I need to water my plants. And this process reminds me of when should I check the soil moisture and water my plants. Now dracaenas are sensitive to mineral contamination. It develops brown leaf tips or leaf edges with yellow linings if it uptake harsh minerals and salts. Now the mineral contamination in the soil can happen by two ways. One, if you use low quality soil, maybe you have collected the soil from any contaminated site or industrial areas. And number two, using harsh mineral and salts containing water, that is usually the tap water. If the plant uptake harsh minerals and salts for a longer period that accumulate at the end of the leaves and cause such browning edges or browning leaf tips with yellow linings. So try to use filtered water, rain water or distilled water uh, if your tap water contains harsh minerals and salts. As well as try to collect soil from any garden center or any good agricultural field. I have a separate video on how you can improve the soil quality as well as how you can identify a good quality soil. Link in the description box if you want to learn more. Dracaenas do well under bright light condition. So try to keep your dracaenas in the brightest place in your garden. Direct sun exposure can fade the color of the leaves as well as can develop burning spots on the leaves. Now dracaena plants are available in standard green form and variegated form. The greener one can be grown in a bit shaded place whereas the variegated ones require more light. Add extra gritty substrates when making potting mix for dracaena plants. As I said earlier, this plant has thick root system that means it can store water. So try to use well draining potting mix that drains out excess water immediately after watering. 
I will try to make a separate video on dressing a potting mix but the basic is to add 30 to 40 percent gluten substrates such as perlite, sand or pumice. Dressinas are not heavy feeders. Adding compost once in a month will be sufficient for them but try to use nitrogen rich fertilizer which will help to improve their overall growth. Another most common problem we face with jasana is drying of the lower leaves. This problem is related to the humidity. Most of the dressinas come from the tropical climate of Africa, South Asia, so they prefer between 50 to 70 percent humidity in the air to thrive. Very dry air causes such dry and crispy bottom leaves. However, keep them in a humid place or you can spray water twice a day, but it doesn't work that much, so you can use pebble trays or humidifiers if your area has very dry air. Mealybugs, aphids, spider mites are some common pests that are often noticed in dressinas. You can use neem oil. I have a separate video where I have shared how you can use neem oil at an effective way link in the description box. So that's all. Dressinas are quite easy to take care. If you are looking for a plan for low light condition or decorate your interior, this would be the right choice. If I missed any point or if you have any questions or suggestion, let me know in the comment section. If you are interested in plants and gardening, then feel free to subscribe with the bell. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.